Hello, second grade for Miss Cooey's class on our STEM Venture Day. This is going to be a quick video to show you what we did during class today in case you missed it or you weren't able to join us. Let's talk a little bit about our water posters and what we're going to look at some that other students around America have made. So these water saving posters have been made with pencils and crayons and color pencils and things like that but the part we're going to use we're going to use autodraw.com again to make it but I want you to see these so that you can see some examples of really good posters or get ideas from them like she could have actually made this one into a few different uh, posters take shorter showers help save the water by fixing leaks here's another friend who made a big poster but could have done things like uh, turn off the water reuse water shorter showers fix leaks and this one see this is a great one it's just simple save water save life same thing save the water Every drop is in our hands. Save water, don't let water run. And it says help, I know I got cut off. So what we're going to use for this today is you're going to use auto draw. And you're going to come up with a kind of post, a, a, a water based poster for your own. So let's take a look at some of the ones that I've made. So on the right is the one, is the child's that says don't take long showers. So I took the same similar idea and I made the same thing using auto draw. And we'll talk about that in a moment. This one says collect rainwater for plants. And I did something very similar with auto draw. This one says wash your car on the grass. And so I drew somebody washing the car on the grass. So if you don't remember what autodraw.com is, so here's my old one. I'm going to create a start over and I'm going to find, I, I'm not sure. Let me just think about this for a moment. First, I'm going to make sure that I'm gonna, if I wanna draw grass. And so we're going to use autodraw.com to make our water-based posters. So let's say that I'm going to draw a river because I know that you guys are also talking about rivers and you might have some ideas on how to preserve or save a river. I'm going to, remember you need to select the button that says auto draw. Not the one that says draw, but auto draw. And you can change the color down here. And since I'm going to be doing water, I'm gonna make sure that mine's blue. And I'm gonna make, and that doesn't look very straight, does it? So I'm gonna come up here and I wanna select the one that I want it to be. That's really big. So I'm going to grab this little corner and I'm going to shrink it down to a size that I want but that's just one thing so I'm going to show you my document camera and we're going to look at the keyboard so if you press control and C which let's see does that help ah that's better control and C while you have something selected See how that's selected? This is not selected. This is selected and you have to make sure that this button is pressed. I'm gonna press Control C and it copied it. Now, over here, I'm going to press Control and V and it's going to give me a copy of it. So I'm going to put them next to each other and I'm gonna move that one over a little bit. Ta -da. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna make sure that's copied. Or I'm sorry, that that's selected. I'm gonna show you just on here. So first it's control C. Then I'm gonna hit control and V. And the same thing pops up on my screen. Let's watch that on the screen. So I'm gonna hit control C. And then I'm going to push control V and it's going to make little bits. 
so that's the beginning of my poster I'm going to keep going with it uh, let's see what's something that I could put that's in the water I'm going to draw a fish so I'm gonna start with my circle I'm gonna add the tail and not look definitely thinks that I'm drawing a fish so I'm going to I'm gonna select this fish I'm gonna add him over here I've got some air bubbles I'm going to I'm trying another fish well I'm gonna try yeah oh wait there thanks for fish that still looks like a fish that could be in the river and I'm going to put something let's see what can I draw in this I'm gonna move this guy over here and I'm gonna put this guy actually I take it back I'm gonna keep him but I'm gonna put him in the middle for a reason and I'm gonna copy this one and paste I got another one and I'm going to draw so this is the wrong color I'm gonna draw the bottom of the river and this time I am just going to use the regular draw button because I'm making the bottom of the river and I'm going to make that nope <laughs> not going to do that so I'm going to make it so now I'm going to come over here I want to make this black or I'm going to try to come over here and I'm going to try and draw something polluting the water let's see if it comes up and and I'm going to color it in some so I'll make that part black and I'll put that part black but then I'll make the top part this dark color but I'm going to make it look like the fish clearly don't like it so I'm going to turn this fish upside down and what does an upside down fish mean? nothing good so we can type something in here we can write don't pollute our rivers or you could write save the fish and then you guys know the rest of this you can start working on um, coloring in some of the spots on the fish so what you guys are going to be doing today is you're going to be making some kind of water themed poster using auto draw it needs to be something about saving water it can be about saving rivers it can be about saving lakes or oceans or just how you actually save water all right have fun